Hi everybody. Someone in my silhouette group wants to know how she can recreate this line under here with this circle at the end. So I'm going to show you what I would do to do that. First I would work on the circle and to create a perfect circle you need to press the shift key on your keyboard and drag out your circle. And what I would do here is I would create two circles with offsets fill in the middle and then work from those. So I'm going to create an offset by clicking this button up here. Then I need to click offset and that probably looks like the right thickness already. So I'm going to click apply to create a compound path. I need to select both pieces, right click and choose make compound path. Then I'm going to fill in with color and I did that by clicking the, the paint bucket up here and I'm going to fill that with black. I'm also going to change the color of the line to black and I now have this as one piece. I'm going to copy this and paste it in front so that it's the same size. I'm going to drag that away and it needs to be a little bit smaller. So I'll do that and let's see how much of a difference it is. I should bring the picture in here so that I can see it while I'm working. And I just need to open that and get it from my directory. And there it is. Okay, actually I'm going to have to copy it and then paste it in the document where I was working. And just put it on the side over here. So now I can see that that's about the, dif the distance between the two lines and I'm going to center those. Not to the page, I just want to center them period. So that would be this command over here. And then I'll group them. And I'll use the knife and cut through at about this angle. So you see that there's now a line in there, a very faint white line. And all I need to do is pull this away and then I can delete those. So I've got this shape. What she wants to do now is create this line and weld it to the top of this over here. So, okay, they're not grouped anymore. So I'll group them together so that when I move them, they'll move together. Put this over down to the side here. And I'm going to create this thin, sorry, thin long rectangle. And I do want it to be the same thickness as these lines over here. So I'm going to take this, rotate it a bit so that I can see that clearly. I'm going to zoom in. Move this over here. And then just drag my line until it fits, until it's the same width. There we go. So that should work out. Then I'll zoom back out. And this needs to be back on an angle. Okay, we'll wait, worry about that after. So this also, I want to fill it with black and I'll change the line color to black. So I've got my pieces ready and this could be maybe a little bit narrower. So not as long, I should say. And I'll drag this piece up over here. I'll zoom in again so that I can see properly. This has gotten a little bit thinner because I changed the length. That's looking okay, but I need to change the angle of this a little bit. Bring it to about there and let's look at it. That's about it. And then I take everything, choose the modify button and click weld. And there we go, the piece is done.
So you can play around with the angle of how you cut that. It could be cut more diagonally like this if you like, but that gives you the information on how to make this. Hope that's been helpful to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any great tips. Thanks so much for watching.